Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a couple of videos. You may see this exact same outfit and makeup in more than one video. So I just wanted to let you know that first of all. But for this video, I am going to do my top five favorite highlighters because obviously I am obsessed with highlighters. Everyone is. Let's, 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 let's be serious. Highlighters are the end all be all of the game right now like am i right i think so so i'm going to show you my favorite ones i have so so many it was hard to pick a top five but as of right now these are my favorites let's go so i'm going to do them in no specific order like these are just five top favorites i love you don't leave me kind of deal so yeah i will start with the two ones that aren't powder so this one is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. The package looks like this. I only have the small one just because it lasts forever. I can't even imagine what the bigger size, like how long that would last. So this guy is a cream. It is, I think it's beautiful, beyond beautiful. So the consistency, something like this. And then when you rub it in, it is just. I feel like you can see that right it's so pretty like this one isn't like too in your face but I mean you can see it which is all that we want right so this guy is like a five out of five it's a favorite I repurchased it before like I said I only buy the small ones because you need such a small amount to use so anyways love this guy perfect oh and I should also try and say the prices I think the smaller one like this one that I have here is like 17 or 18 dollars Canadian don't quote me on that it's something like that and it lasts forever so second are going to be I only brought one out but I have more than one of the sleek highlighting palettes and this one sorry it was like a really big like <sighs> um, the sleek highlighting palette in precious metal and this I don't know why but I still have ooh, 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 ooh. I still have the little paper on it or the little piece of plastic so the powder in mine oh everything's falling the powder in mine shattered broke didn't get to use it like at all so there's that um, the top two ones are definitely my favorites so this guy is so this one that I just put on is platinum I'll do it again. So that's platinum. And then the other top one is antique bronze. Yes, girl. Boop. So platinum, definitely more champagne, a little bit whiter, and then antique bronze, definitely very bronzy, kind of gold. You can tell a big difference. The other one is royal gold and this one has glitter in it and I can't say that I'm like as big of a fan of this one. Like it looks beautiful but once it starts to, yeah like it looks beautiful in my arm of course. Once it starts to fade away though all that's left is the glitter and I'm just not a fan of how that looks. So it's kind of too bad that that's how it looks but anyways for the, I think this is $14, this is amazing the, these are cream also it's like a hardened cream but they are cream it is mwah, so good again five out of five like 10 out of 10 would recommend <laughs> so my third one is another becca highlighter this one is powder form it is called the shimmering skin perfector press and this one is an opal and this guy is well loved which you'll sorry you'll be able to see there so this is opal right here so these three ignore those that is opal on the bottom so good see now i find it like right there it looks really intensely pigmented which i mean it is like i'm dotting things all over myself um it is really pigmented i really love it but it's not it looks very like colored there instead of just being a highlight 
I don't find that it shows up that way on my face. Like, I don't find that it's too intense of a color for me. Whereas, like, here on my arm, it just looks so, like, kind of, like, brown-toned. I don't really find that it applies that way. Obviously, the swatch using my finger is just giving it a lot of pigmentation and concentrated in one spot. When I apply it, I use a fan brush, which probably is what's making the difference. So, just to let you know that it's not, you know, it's not as scary as it might look. Sorry, I have to adjust things. It's not as scary as it might look on my arm there. I mean, they all look beautiful. Like, let's be serious. But this does look like it's bringing a very brown tone to my arm. And I don't feel like it applies that way to the face. That's all I wanted to say. So, next one is actually from MAC. And this is an extra dimension skin finish. This is from their holiday collection last year. So, this is not available. This sold out. So quickly the whole world wanted it and thank fucking god I got one like hello girlfriend I try not to use it that much but I mean the Mac like pressed in logo is definitely wearing away <laughs> like I'm definitely using it um, we'll swatch on my other hand slash arm so that is one swipe of that and girl let me tell you this is one good highlight like it is just beautiful. Again, I apply this. I apply all my highlighters with a fan brush. I also do have one from Sigma that's kind of like a long one that you kind of just like, and it applies really well too. Um, occasionally, I apply the cream ones with my beauty blender, but mostly I just apply them with my fingers. I feel like it works out just as well. And yeah, so this guy, I believe, was $32. It might have even been a little bit more. Maybe $34. I don't remember it was last year, but it was definitely more than 30 and under 40. I remember that, but I don't think, like, I know you can't purchase this on the Mac website. I mean, maybe on eBay or something, but it's probably like something ridiculous, like $150. I don't know. That's up to you. Search away, but it is beautiful. My last highlighter is definitely a beauty. This is my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in Ice Cold. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Um, because you need so little, girl. So little. Like, it's going to come off chalky because I just, I put too much. But, like, so beautiful. I mean, what can you say about this? Jeffree Star makes amazing products. I mean, I've had this since this. I got this at the very first launch of the Skin Frost. Like, the, the stamper is still in there. Like, the... What do you call it? Does anybody know? Can anybody tell me? The like, what they do, you know, the imprint. That's still in there. Like, I feel like you can still, like, it still doesn't even look that old. But, like, I've used this, like, it was going out of style. And we all know that they're not. But, anyways, I love this color. Okay. All I was trying to say is that I find it very powerful. The color of it is very powerful. You only have to use so little like this will last you forever I don't think you actually have to ever buy a friggin backup which is amazing and it's like so good on his part because he's not trying to like give you a product that there isn't very much so that you use it all up so quickly and then you have to repurchase or repurchase like he is giving or he is putting out quality products that he wants you to be very satisfied with which I just love I think that's so good and there's so friggin much in here and it's such a good product Love, 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 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, would recommend, yay, all of these. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you like some of these highlighters too, because they're all bum AF. And if you think that I should try another highlight, because highlight is my life, definitely recommend it to me down below. If you have other opinions on these, again, why not let me know? Let's have a discussion down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys.